You could well finally download Windows 11 24H2 as Explorer Patcher fixes several big bugs because Explorer Patcher, also known as EP, is a widely used customization and tweaking app for Windows and has now received a major new update that addresses several annoying issues that many users faced on Microsoft's latest operating system, making this release a pretty significant one, especially for those who rely on EP to bring back missing Windows features or enhance their workflow, as this. Update restores functionality to multiple features that had previously stopped working in Windows 11 24H2. Features that initially worked fine with a version, but broke somewhere down the line due to underlying OS changes. So, if you're frustrated with missing options, this update could be a lifesaver. Because among the restored features are the simple Windows Switcher, also known as SWS. The highly requested option to disable rounded corners, and more tweaks that had suddenly become non- Functional. And the developer behind Explorer Patcher has gone the extra mile by changing the code structure itself so that users who were unable to download or install Windows 11 24H2 due to safeguard blocks will now find it possible to proceed, which is huge because many users were stuck, unable to update to 24H2, but this change effectively removes that block, unlocking the upgrade path again. And while the update is mainly focused on 24H2 compatibility, the developer clarified that there is nothing specific yet related to Windows 11 25H2. So this release is tailored to fixing current issues rather than preparing for the next big update. But the change log itself is packed with fixes and improvements worth highlighting, such as Start 10 Now Fixing Pin to Start Issues on Builds 226X 1.4541 Plus and 261XX.2454 Plus. The simple Windows switcher now officially adding support for 24H2 EP underscore WM adding support for 24H2 while also being renamed to EP underscore WM on Philly C. <laughs> EXC to bypass upgrade blocks plus EP underscore DWM. Now always unregistering on uninstallation to avoid leftover traces, making uninstalls much cleaner. And in addition to that, the setup process now displays a specific code line number when a failure occurs, which makes troubleshooting far easier for power users. And moving on to the taskbar, Taskbar 10 has been improved significantly, with fixes for immersive menus not disabling properly on ARM64, fixes for Win plus X menu crashes caused by missing Windows Terminal, and corrections for entry. Clicks that did nothing on build 26 triple X.5551 plus ARM64, plus several GUI improvements like drop-down indicators and improved language name clarity while localization has expanded with new translations for Czech and Spanish, and EP underscore taskbar itself has been overhauled with added support for hiding the show desktop button. Fixes for shortcut global hotkeys not working on 24H2, corrections for taskbar resizing issues after DPI changes, and even more translations added, covering German, French, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Korean, Lithuanian, Dutch, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Romanian, Spanish, Turkish, Ukrainian, and simplified Chinese, giving Explorer Patch a broader international usability than ever before. And beyond all this, memory leaks have been addressed, inaccuracies fixed, and compatibility updated for builds 26,200.5603 in the dev channel, 26,120.4151 in the beta channel, and 26,100.4188 in the release preview channel, ensuring that users across all insider channels can still enjoy a smooth EP experience. Plus, EP now supports all Windows 10 versions from Bill 17763-1809 and up, meaning its backward compatibility remains strong. So what does this all mean for end users? Well, simply put, this pre-release version, identified as 22631.5335.68.2, can now be downloaded directly from the official GitHub repo. But since it's still technically a pre-release, users who don't urgently need these fixes can choose to wait for a stable version. But for those facing broken features or blocked upgrades, this release is definitely worth grabbing. And with Explorer Patcher being such a trusty utility for customizing and enhancing the Windows experience, this update demonstrates how crucial third-party tools remain in bridging gaps that Microsoft leave behind. So whether you want a functional taskbar, smoother switching, or control over your desktop aesthetics, this update makes Windows 11 24H2 far more usable. And for anyone who has struggled with the upgrade block or felt frustrated by broken tweaks, 
This is the news you've been waiting for. And as we look forward to more changes and eventually the Windows 11 25H2 release, one thing is certain. Explorer Patcher will continue to be an essential part of many setups, keeping power users and customization enthusiasts satisfied. So make sure to check it out if you haven't already. And as always, stay tuned for more updates on Windows software and tech right here on Techverse.